Hot temperatures last summer helped keep soybean aphids at bay. The readings close to 100 degrees these past few days have been atypical from what most of Nebraska has seen in June, July and August of 2013. But even with cooler than normal weather, UNL Extension educator Wayne Onasor says aphids have been minimal. This summer they've been really low. Uh, generally speaking, we're seeing if you have a field that's got a high population, about five aphids per plant uh, average and you got to really search for them throughout the field. And it's kind of continued that way up until now. Uh, aphids don't do well in 95 plus degree heat and last year would have kept populations really low. So those overwintering were my, most likely low as well. So we're just waiting for things to rebound. The back off of the heat's going to be a concern for the producers to be scouting their fields still. still. And the, as far as timing of scouting, we're still in R5 up in the northern part of the state. That seed is still filling and expanding. Um, once we get to R6 where that seed is fully expanded and still green, uh, that's where you really can back off on your threshold. Up until that point, we use the 250 aphids per plant threshold. Best suggestive guess at this point for R6 is more like 750 to 1,000 aphids per plant, which we likely may not see.